To use baking powder in the most effective way as a means of pest control, you need to know how to apply it. After all, baking soda won't repel anything if you keep it locked away in your cupboard. However, not every form is going to work. Pastes, homemade sprays, and sprinkles of baking powder all have their uses. You can use soda in the garden, in the house, anywhere you can think of. The trick is knowing where and when and for which pests. Cockroaches. Baking soda can kill cockroaches, but first you need to convince them to eat it. Cockroaches aren't attracted to the taste and smell of baking soda, so you may need to use a little sugar to make the mixture seem tastier. Baking soda works when cockroaches eat it. The soda must be in powder form, otherwise it won't work. Combining baking soda with vinegar? Some online information recommends this, but the vinegar will actually stop the baking soda from working. Warm water or putting it in food will make the soda virtually ineffective. When cockroaches eat the raw powder, the soda reacts with water inside the cockroach's body. The baking soda expands, and because cockroaches have a firm exoskeleton, their bodies are crushed from the inside out. Centipedes Baking soda won't get rid of the average centipedes on your kitchen floors, but if you have a problem with centipedes climbing up your drains, a baking soda rinse can help here. This is because when you pour baking soda and vinegar down a drain, the expanding mixture produces CO2, which drowns the centipedes. Start by pouring one cup of baking soda down the drain, pour it slowly and thoroughly. The plan is to coat the inside of the drains as well as possible. Next, pour around two cups of vinegar down the drain. This will mix the baking soda and vinegar together, causing a bubbling reaction and pushing the mixture further down the drain. You might need to do several baking soda and vinegar rinses to kill your centipede problem. Snails and slugs. Just like vinegar or salt, you can sprinkle baking soda in the garden on snails and slugs to kill them. However, this can be a nasty death for the slug or snail as the baking soda sticks to the mucousy skin and slowly dehydrates them. It's more humane to use as much as possible to kill the creature quickly. You can sprinkle baking soda lightly onto the soil around your garden to kill any snails or slugs. This will also help deter any future slimy invaders. Focus on areas where you've seen snails and slugs or where you're likely to see them. A compost pile, tomato plants, and other areas are all very tempting to a snail or slug. Ants. Baking soda will kill ants. If ants eat it, the soda, it reacts with the water and acid in the ant's body and expands, just like the cockroach reaction. This dehydrates the ant and kills it. Again, you need to convince the ants to eat the baking soda. You can do this by mixing baking soda and sugar. Then the worker ants bring the mixture back to the colony. For a better chance at getting rid of the whole infestation, locate the ant's nest and surround it with your soda and sugar mixture. Mice and rats. Baking soda will kill mice and rats. This is because rats aren't able to expel any buildup of gas in their system. When ingested, baking soda expands and causes a buildup of gas inside the body of a mouse or rat. Eventually, this buildup will be fatal. For this to work, you need to create a mixture to tempt the rodents. Mix two-thirds of a cup of baking soda, two-thirds of a cup of sugar, and two-thirds of a cup of flour together. You can adjust these measurements depending on how much you need. Once the baking soda, sugar, and flour is mixed, add a little warm water. Don't let the mixture get too runny as you should be able to form the paste into balls. Leave the baking soda balls around where mice or rats find them and eat them. Fleas You can use a mixture of baking soda and salt to kill fleas. However, you'll need fresh baking soda, not the old packet that's been open and sitting in your cupboard for a while. The baking soda and salt dehydrates the fleas, eventually killing them. It also dehydrates the flea eggs. Mix equal parts salt and baking soda and sprinkle it liberally on your carpets, rugs, and other soft furnishing areas. And use a brush or broom to thoroughly work the mixture into your carpets. Leave the mixture overnight and vacuum it up in the morning. Be sure to vacuum all the nooks and crannies in your home and always empty the filter in the outside trash so that any surviving fleas can't make their way back in. You can also use baking soda and water to kill fleas on your pets, Mix one and a half cups of water with one teaspoon of baking soda and work the mixture into your pet's wet fur, but not on their face. Let the mixture sit for a minute, then rinse thoroughly. Bed bugs. 
Putting baking soda in your home can also kill bed bugs. It creates the same dehydrating effect that we see in other insects, and some of the baking soda grains can break inside the insect, causing internal bleeding. Mix baking soda and water into a paste and spread this paste over the most common hiding places for bed bugs on a person's bed and surrounding areas. You may want to sleep elsewhere while this is going on. During the night, the bed bugs will come out to look for a meal and come into contact with the baking soda paste, then hopefully they'll die. This mixture will dry out, so you'll need to vacuum away the old paste and put on some fresh paste. It's worth noting that while baking soda can be extremely helpful in dealing with bed bugs, you may have to resort to stronger methods if you have an infestation. So what if you find your baking soda mixture isn't working? If you've made a baking soda mixture that doesn't seem to be working, it could be that your soda is out of date or just old. A good way to test your soda is to add a little water to a small amount of soda. If the mixture fizzles for a few seconds or longer, that means that your baking soda is still fresh and powerful. If not, then you might want to consider buying a newer tub. However, if your baking soda repellents still aren't working, try and figure out why. For example, if you're using soda to kill cockroaches, are you sure that the insects are actually eating the mixture? If not, then it won't work. So can baking soda be used to kill anything else in the home? Yes, baking soda is a fungicide as well as an insecticide. It can be used to treat powdery mildew, a plant fungi. Sprinkling baking soda on the base of your plants will prevent powdery mildew from forming and stop roaches and ants from climbing your plants. A combination of water and a teaspoon of baking soda in a spray bottle is all you need. You can add a drop of liquid dish soap to the mixture to help it stick. Spray the baking soda mixture over the plant and let it dry. Reapply until the fungal infection has gone. Baking soda can also be used to encourage plants that prefer an alkaline soil to bloom beautifully. You may also be wondering, does baking soda damage plants? You should be careful when using sodium bicarbonate around plants as it can seep into the soil and inhibit plant growth. However, a baking soda spray can actually help to combat fungal infections in plants. A sprinkle of baking soda around your tomato plants or any other plant targeted by insects should do no real trouble to your plants. However, you should make sure you aren't accidentally killing beneficial insects. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on a DIY natural cockroach killer using baking soda. Thanks for watching and bye for now.